You know those office toilets? I was in one room. And then my boss came and entered the other. Now, I love the fact that God blessed me with the swag. Even when I'm doing my thing in the toilet, it's with swag. When I sit on the toilet seat, let me tell you, I think I'm the one who created the Nokia tune. Because all you hear is... But this man came in the next room. I don't know what he had eaten. It was like a Cabo Snoop song. Now it was a competition between Nokia and Cabo Snoop. Ten minutes later, we both finished. I knew we had finished because the sounds stopped. It was now time for us to get out. But nobody wanted to come out. So I sat, he sat. I said, hey, hey. he was also there waiting. But later he realized he was like, let me take the responsibility. Let me come out because I'm the boss. So he did this thing. I had the belts, you know, tight. Then he flashed. <laughs> One thing about those toilets is that they can embarrass you, especially when you're in public. Those things were designed for white people. Because white people residue is light. White people, when they flash, everything goes. For us, when we flash, the toilet paper is the first. Whoop. The small pieces follow. Choo -choo. The big one goes half one and comes back. <laughs> now you're there, you're stupidly standing in a public toilet waiting for the water to refill, asking yourself questions. Now, what did I eat really? thing is even blue <laughs> but his attempt his first attempt was successfully flashed Whoa! everything well had the door opening he came out in my mind you know how those office toilets are there's usually a space you can see outside i was like let me see which boss this is so i went down on my knees to check i didn't know that was the same thing on his mind he wanted to find out which employee was inside wasting time. So as soon as I reached down like this, we met. <laughs> the only thing I would tell him was, what's up, boss? 